Hi guys, it's Sunday, which means another video from Team Monkey and Bear Fit. So today, just myself, Leanne and Theo. Yeah, see you saying hello? You're getting very taken by the camera today. Hello, hello. And in this video today, Theo and I are going to talk to you about one of those topics I think that all parents go through at some stage, and that is teething. And I know whenever I speak to anyone about teething, you get that kind of look over your face of, oh, teething is such a hard time. And yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's been pretty difficult. Um, so Theo has currently got two teeth that have come through at the bottom. Are you going to show everyone your teeth? Are you going to show everyone your teeth? No, not quite yet. Maybe we'll get to see them at some point. <laughs> so he's got two teeth that have come through at the bottom. And we think that his two top ones are coming through. So he's maybe getting four teeth around the same time, which I have no idea whether that's usual or not. But I think it's, yeah, it has meant lots and lots of sleepless nights, hasn't it, Theo? <laughs> yes, you can find it funny. <laughs> yeah, lots of sleepless nights. And yeah, like I said before, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty tough. Um, going from, you know, when you've got a newborn and they're up every three hours, um, to feed or sometimes even more than that and then you get those longer stretches and you think oh finally gonna get some kind of longer stretches of sleep and then once teething hit and I think this started about <laughs> yeah when Theo was six and a bit months old he started waking up in the night um not really too sure why at that point he was just up would be a bit restless and then go back to sleep but yeah frequent night waking <laughs> And then all of a sudden we saw this tooth coming through and we thought, okay, the teething has begun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we thought, yeah, this teething has now started. Um, and so what can we do to help him? Because you hear from so many people and it really is horrible when you see them in pain. And lots of people have said, oh, it is such a tough time. And yeah, it is. But there are things that you can do. And we've got such great advice from lots of people about different things that you can try. So um, our niece, Chloe, when she had her baby Teddy, she would always tell us that these Ashton and Parsons powders are amazing. So we bought those straight away because those were a recommendation that we had. And what we would do is when Theo would have his last bottle before bed, we would put one of those in his mouth and he had to get a bit used to it. <laughs> he would always like clamp his mouth shut and be like, no, what is this thing you're putting in my mouth? But I think once he realized that it was actually good, that he, um, he's now quite happy to take it. So we give him one of those um, at night before he went to bed and I think that would help him just get settled a bit. Um, and it is for pain relief, so, so that's good. And he seemed to, if he woke up in the night as well and um, I would give him one, he'd often go back to sleep really, really quickly. So that was great. So we were, yeah, so happy with those. Um, the other thing that we tried, only because I'd heard of it before was just Bongella. I think Bongella is just one of those things that comes to mind when you think about any kind of mouth or teeth issue. Um, always think of Bongella. And this, I've used it a few times, but I'm not really too sure whether it's that effective with Theo. I'm not too sure. I've kind of tried it when it's been three o'clock in the morning and he's been up loads and I just think, oh, I'll try something new. I'll try this. But yeah, there's not not my go-to, the powder is more my go-to, but this one can try. You gonna hold that one? Okay, Theo's gonna hold that one. He's gonna demonstrate that one. <laughs> um, and then somebody else said to us, um, give the baby some cow pop before they go to sleep because that's obviously for pain relief. And if it is just knowing the teeth are like just breaking through the skin, which seemed to be the toughest point for us, which was when you could see the teeth underneath the skin and you could tell that they were just trying to break through. Um, and they said, well, give the baby some cow pole. that's for pain relief and it can really help. So we did that a few nights and so we've got our trusty cow pole here. And we, yeah, you like, <laughs> Theo does like cow pole. So we, try, so we use it when um, we thought he was in a lot of pain. Um, we didn't want to use it. Okay, darling. We didn't want to use it too much because, you know, that's used for when he has a fever or um, like after immunizations and things like that. And we just want to get his... I'm kind of too used to to cow pole, so when we really need it then hopefully it'll be more effective um 
But yeah, so that was, I think that worked quite well. So combining the cow pole with the powder, that seemed to work well, didn't it, baby? Because it seems like it really is at night that it affects them with this teething. And so, so, we, so we were running along with those things. We got the Ashton and Parsons powder, the Bongella and the cow pole. And then we got some great advice from some, some other people, some of Jermaine's work colleagues and um, actually a lady at the nursery that we were looking at. Um, for Theo to, to go to when I go back to work in January. And so the lady at the nursery recommended, rather than the powder, these granules. And the, she said the great thing about the granules is that because they're a bit rougher, then they actually help with the cutting of Theo's teeth. <laughs> He's very interested in all of these things. You can't eat it, baby. Okay, yeah, he wants to eat the box. <laughs> um, so yeah, because they're quite rough, then actually if they like, rubs their gums together, it can actually help with cutting the cutting of the teeth and we tried these and they do seem great again if he has one in the middle of the night when he's waking up he does tend to go back to sleep quite quickly and he's quite happy to take them aren't you darling yeah so they've worked really well and we tend to give them <coughs> to these ones when we were using it um at night mm -hmm. so after his last bottle again give him a powder, settle him down, put him to bed, and then he would sleep well for a good few hours before he was waking. It really was, I think, when it got to about anywhere between 1 and 3 a.m., that was when he would kind of be up and down, and sometimes it's every hour. You seem like you just get him settled and then back to sleep, and then he'd be up again. It almost feels like five minutes later when, you've got, when you're running on no sleep. It really does feel like five minutes. Um, but these things have really, really helped. Um, and then I guess finally, one of the things that we've been using most recently, which is what one of Jermaine's colleagues um, recommended to us, was this Ambisol liquid, which I hadn't heard of before. So um, when Jermaine told me to go to Boots and go and get it, I had no idea what I was going to get. And it's a liquid that you just kind of dab on your finger and rub it on the gums. And it is an anaesthetic, so it just numbs the area, which I guess if you've got pain there, then that is... That's a great thing to have if the area actually numbed. And Theo's taken to it quite quite well, really. Um, well, it's been working well. He's been sleeping. Okay, darling, should we get you? Sorry, I'm just going to get you pumped. Um, he has been sleeping um, a bit better with that, I think. We've only had it for a couple of days, so it's quite hard to tell at the minute, but I do think that it's been working. No. Obviously, we wouldn't use all of these things at the same time. We'd use, like, one of them with the cow pole if we felt that he needed it. But it's quite nice to be able to kind of mix it up a bit. So maybe during the day, if if he looks like he's in pain and he's a bit restless, then we can use, say, one of the powders and then save the Ambisol for night time when he really, really needs it, when he's been really disturbed by the by his teething. Because the Ambisol has got... It's got alcohol in it, so I don't like to use it too much. But when he really needs it then then we save it for night times don't we baby for when you need to get your sleep yeah the other thing with teething is as you can see he wants to chew everything so everything goes in your mouth doesn't it so we have to be so careful what he gets hold of so that he doesn't put anything harmful in his mouth because he's so quick as well aren't you you're far quicker than mummy so anything that's nearby he just goes straight in the mouth so we have to be very very careful with that but what we do have are just the teething toys and so one of Theo's favourites at the minute is this one so these little matchstick monkeys and I think these are genius they've got these little handles here so the baby can hold on to them chew the head they're lovely and soft see <laughs> Theo's seen your monkey you want to chew already and on the back of the monkey's head it's um got like little knobbly bits so that it can just help the gums. It's like a bit of a massage for the gums when he's chewing it. And you can put like Bongello on there or any other kind of teething gels. And the baby can just chew on that and you get all of the um, the Bongello or the other teething gel right in the place where it needs to go on the gums. But yeah, I think these, these matchstick monkeys are just genius. And Theo loves it. And it does seem to really, really help. But you don't only need to get the matchstick monkeys. We've got other things like like these which are um you want this one too then darling yeah you're demonstrating you're doing very well at demonstrating aren't you so this is just 
I think these are from Nubby, Nubby, however you pronounce it. And they're again teething toys where the, the corn bit here is different kind of textures so that when you're chewing it can really help massage the gums and help those teeth cut through when they come through. And then the only other thing that we use is the um, like toys that you can put in the fridge or the freezer. So we've got some gel ones that you put in the fridge and the toys have got like gel bits in them that stay cold so that can really really help is the coldness you can tell when he's got that he's like really really chewing on it because it must it must help his teeth and then other ones that have got um the water base that can go in the freezer so yes yeah, so i think it's the cold really helps and something to just chew on because i read something that it's the pressure they need to counteract the pressure of the tooth coming through and then they bite down and that really really helps with the pain um so that that's what we've been using for theo's teething and while he's still kind of up in the night and not sleeping very well i do think these things have really helped and at least it gives him like a little bit of comfort during the night which is nice because it's yeah i'm sure all of you parents know it's not nice to see them in pain but teething is one of those things that goes on for years and we're we're only at the beginning of that journey aren't we and so we would love to hear from anyone who's gone through this teething journey or is going through it currently and has found anything else that works um, that we haven't mentioned here, any kind of tips or tricks or anything like that that you use that really helps your little one when they're teething, we would love to hear about it. Um, so please do leave us a comment if you have any, any advice at all. And also even if you think that any of the products that we've got here you use and you find really useful leave us a comment too because as you can tell we're still experimenting so we'd love to love to hear from you and also anyone else that you feel may benefit from this video please share it and um, we really are so grateful to all of you who watch watch our videos leave us comments um and also for anyone who shares shares our videos we really do appreciate all of you watching um, and we're so happy to be sharing this journey with you and all of these different milestones that we're going through with Theo and I'm sure we're going to have plenty more to come so if you like the video then please subscribe and then you'll know when we when we release another video every Sunday and you can also hit the like button hey Theo I just want to see if you can see any of his teeth are you going to show me your teeth? no he's too busy chewing <laughs> anyway but so yeah please do get in touch if you have got any advice like i said we really really would love to hear from you and yeah and until until next time we were going to carry on on this journey aren't we baby and maybe next week we can give you an update on how it's going when we do our next video okay no all of you take care and we'll be in touch very soon next week with our next video okay goodbye i'm gonna say goodbye to you bye 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 bye